see how easy it is to meal prep this is for lazy people like me i really just don't want to put too much effort in when i say i bought a lot i bought a lot yes look at that oh my goodness i kind of look tired right now like i feel tired i had a bit of a sleep in today i slept dinner until like 7 30. okay and i know that's not a sleep in for a lot of people but for me it is <laughs> um but anyways um but i'm just gonna do a grocery run this morning yeah <laughs> sorry my mom texted she wanted me to buy some milk for her um anyways okay so <laughs> oh did i say good morning already i don't even know but anyways it's monday and i actually have run out of a lot of things already i don't even know how i'm gonna get out of this um yeah i've run out of things so i need to pick up a whole bunch of stuff because i'm gonna be meal prepping today i'll take it i'll obviously show you guys like my process i'm kind of honestly feeling very lazy with meal prepping like i honestly can't be bothered cooking but yeah we'll see but yeah okay i'm gonna go i'll talk to you guys later because because we got some shopping to do shopping food shopping let's go <laughs> Biggest spider like that big. Oh, oh. Anyways. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Not gonna lie, that was exhausting. I can breathe. Wow. Wow, so glad I had this because I'm so thirsty now. I can't believe I literally was at the groceries for an hour. Literally never spent that long at the grocery before. And now I think I went pretty quick too. Like I didn't go through every single aisle. So it's kind of like, I spent a lot of money. I spent over $100. So yeah, all right, let's go home. I bought a lot. I bought a lot. This is a lot for me actually. Might not be a lot for a lot of people, but this is a lot for me. I'll start off with the boring stuff. Lettuce. We're gonna have a lot of salads the next month. Obviously, it's not gonna last me a month, but you know what I mean. Cost lettuce, ice baked lettuce. And I also got some zucchini. I'm gonna put these away. Our best friend. Because I can't be bothered cutting anything up. So I should have bought more, but there's no space in the freezer. So just one pack of now. Some rolled oil. Like, oh, it's more with the cholesterol levels. Avocado oil spray instead of olive oil. Because apparently this is lower. This is cholesterol free, apparently. I'm trying to lower them cholesterol levels. Love that. We've got some salmon, which we're going to cook today. I'll show you guys what I'm going to do with it. Probably just going to air fry it. Because I'm lazy. Milk for my mom, not for me. Anyways, this is exciting for me because I've been having this every day. This is probably going to last me the next three weeks. Only three weeks. I was hoping it would last me the rest of my cup, but it's not going to. So I bought heaps. I just can't be bothered having to literally get some every week. So I'm set for the next three weeks. Yay. So hi, Daddy. So <laughs> Berries, 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 berries is always good for a cut because it's low in calories. Fresh berries, because I kind of sometimes prefer fresh berries over the frozen berries. Prunes. Prunes. I am halfway through the other packet, so I decided why not get another packet because I know I'm going to need it. 
because I still have like a month and a bit left of my iron tablets to go. So I'm going to need to have prunes every single day to just let everything release. I got these from my brother actually because they're high in protein. This is really good if you struggle to get protein in every day because this has got 17 grams of protein in it. You can have it with, you know, cereal or by itself. It really depends on your preference, but I probably would have this with cereal. Up and go. 17 grams of protein. Okay. Just saying. This combination, you guys already know. We've got some kombucha probiotics, obviously, for the good gut health. <laughs> this is not the best for, like, you know, macros. But on the weekend, when I have, like, my untracked meals, I can probably have this for dessert. I'll make this for my family. Then I can have some. This one is a really good ice cream. It's low in calories, literally less than 100 calories. And 12 grams of carbs, it's not too bad for when I'm craving, like, something sweet. And it's on the healthier side. Guys, this one is only 69 calories for a tub of mousse. I love mousse. And when I have like chocolatey cravings, this would probably hit the spot for me. I haven't tried it yet, but I'm sure it would be nice. These chocolates from Coles, the Coles brand, is vegan. And for the whole thing, it's like 200 calories. So if you're craving like a lot of chocolate, you can literally have a whole bar and it's literally only 200 color color calories. So I got two of that when I need like you know a good chocolate fix because I am a sweet tooth especially during the night time I need my sweets so got some pear and meats, some bread but yeah this is the same macros as country split because like country split literally has been out of stock for the last two weeks and I'm sad because I can't have my avocado on toast and now I can because I found something that was similar to that Hard boiled, by the way, not fully boiled. No, okay, cool. Uh, 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 pardon me. I decided I'm just gonna air fry this for a little bit to cook it through because it's really thick. And then I'll try pan frying it so there's like, you know, more flavor and more. What's it called? Yeah, I'm seriously so out of it right now. But, anyways, yeah, I'm just gonna air fry it and then pan fry it for a little bit after that to get it a bit, you know, crispy and stuff. So let's air fry this baby. I really don't know. Bake it, let's bake it. I guess. Bye. And that is the end result. I am probably gonna put some like spices on top of it. I honestly forgot, I like blanked out when I <laughs> put these together, but add some flavor to the dishes. It's a bit dark today. It's only four o'clock and I've turned the lights on. Crazy. <laughs> That's fine. So this is it for the next four days. It's not too bad. It's basic. I know this will fill me up because of all of the veggies. <laughs> like when you guys load up on veggies, you guys will be full for ages. I'm not gonna lie. That was actually really easy to do. Like I loved how easy that was to make. Yeah. See how easy it is to meal prep. This is for lazy people like me. I really just don't want to put too much effort in. And <laughs> keeping it basic this week, I really can't be bothered. Actually, air fry everything, measure it, and then I'll just re air fry it on the other days, I guess. I need to season it. <laughs> Easy 
giving me just literally going crazy okay that was a little bit much it's fine we have two air fries by the way this is a different one we love air fries it's an essential in this household i'll take you guys to the other air fryer got this for my dad's birthday <laughs> but really this benefits everyone i want to roast it actually Adios, amigos. Time to make the breast chicken. It's ready. Hopefully, it turns out good because I watched this like YouTube tutorial on how to make the best like chicken breast with, without it being dry. Apparently, you pan fry it and then you leave it in for like 15 minutes. Hopefully, it's not dry breast chicken. Please, <laughs> please. I think I'm gonna do 15 grams. Oh, sorry, 15 mils of olive oil, then obviously divided by the rule. I think four days, no four days, yeah. Yes, quick. Yeah. All right, 10 minutes, period. Yes, I forgot to put spices on the chicken. Guys, I'm, I don't know what's happening, but I've literally been forgetting my spices all around but I'm gonna put some barbecue spices on top of the breast chicken hoping that it's not too late <laughs> look at that some funky chicken breasts love that oops kind of a lot oops okay <laughs> that's a lot <laughs> oops I'm gonna flip it oh it's a bit stuck hello thank you Okay, I'm not sure if I cooked this right. I should probably cut this down. It be looking like... Oh, okay, focus. <laughs> it's not focusing. Okay, um, hello. Oh, it kind of smells good. Ow, 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 ah. Yes. Look at that. Not bad. Oh, yum. I want to eat it now, but I have... Something else for dinner, I guess. I guess this will be for tomorrow. Oh my god, yes. Okay, this is meant to be divided up into four portions. Yeah, so there's literally no space in the fridge, so I had to just keep everything in these. Wow, it's worth the cake and jam. Best believe I'm so happy that I'm done with cooking. I don't really need to cook for the rest of the week. I'm so happy. You guys have no idea. I've been so lazy with cooking. I used to be so into cooking and then I just kind of fell off and was like, I don't really want to cook anymore. So I can't wait because I ordered some more of, um, what's it called? I think, oh, is it this Friday? Wait. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Yay. So I ordered some more, um, home delivery food service thing. It's like already pre-cooked meals and I literally just need to microwave it. I ordered it for... <laughs> This coming Friday, and I'm so happy. Yeah, oh my god. <laughs> when I tell you I've been lazy, I've literally been so lazy to cook. This is, I feel like this is the first time I've actually cooked like this in I don't know how long. I don't remember the last time I did it, so it, it I, it's just been that long. <laughs> so pretty much the month of me being in a cut, I've been just kind of playing around with my meals. Um, I actually have to be like fully disciplined this time around because I have less calories and macros to play, wrap, uh, to play around with and I feel like it's much less stressful for me to have to, you know, adjust my macros every single day. So now I'm like fully set, I'm prepared, I'm thankful. My future self is going to be so thankful for today. The fact that I actually prepared some meals for until Friday, I'm set. Oh my god, yes. Oh my god, my arms hurt. But yeah, anyways, thanks for cooking with me. I hope you guys enjoyed that cooking session. I don't know. <laughs> I hope you guys did because, I mean, I would have talked more throughout the cooking session. But honestly, I was so in the zone. I was just like, I need to get this done. I want to get this done ASAP. And if I talked, it would have jacked out. I would have been cooking for like four hours. And we don't want that. <laughs> anyways, yeah, and plus... My family was home and, and like sometimes I had to like mute it, can't really talk because there's like TV on or there's music playing in the background. So 
it's kind of a bit difficult, I would say, obviously living at home, I have to kind of adjust to everyone else as well. And my brother's playing music right now at the, in the gym. So I have to like move away so I can talk to you guys, that kind of thing, you know? It is what it is, you know? Anyways, okay, wow, I feel so good now. Like I feel alive again. You know what? I think the reason why I was so out of it while I was cooking was because it was so dark in that space. And since it's like a really gloomy day today, it was so dark in that area. And now I'm in my room. I'm in my room and it's so bright. Look at that. I'm alive again. It literally makes a difference. It makes a world of a difference to have some kind of like natural lighting in your house, if that makes sense. If you live in like a very dark, confined space, I don't know, it makes you less motivated. It makes you feel a bit like, you know what I'm saying? Like I can't put it into words, it just makes you feel like, <laughs> but yeah, now I'm alive again because of the light. Yeah. <laughs>